In this video, we will show you how to use a webcam or video files to do motion capture in real time in VAM. On the Dollars Mocap website, download the main program. And we will also need the VAM plugin, you may get it on the VAM website, or just use the hub to download. If you download it on the website, you will need to put the VAR file in the add-in packages folder of VAM. Let's open a new scene in VAM. When the scene is loaded, open UI and enter edit mode. Select the person Adam and add a plugin in the plugins tab. In the select file dialog, find the dollars mocap CS list file and open it. If a security warning pops up, click Always Allow. Next, in the Pose Presets tab, select the T Pose Preset in the plugin. We have done the VAM side. Now we can launch the Dollars Mocap main program. If this is the first time you've used the Dollars Mocap program, you will need to enter your email and password and register. Once registered, you may log in, and let's take a brief tour of the software. You can select to use camera or video files here, if you are using the camera, you may select which camera will be activated here. And using these buttons you may switch between different mocap modes, calibrate, record motions as BVH files. You may find more details on the dollars mocap website. Let's use a camera for this tutorial. Notice dollars mocap is already tracking you in real time. Now in the settings menu, enable VAM streaming by checking the box. Back to VAM, let's open the plugin UI and click connect. And the VAM figure is animated in real time now. If the physics goes wrong, you may recover it. Now let's try loading a video file. You can adjust the smoothing option to control the smoothness of the captured motion. The lower the value, the better the fidelity of the motion, but it may cause some jumping or jitter. The higher the value, the more stable the motion will be. Clicking disconnect will disconnect the character from the motion capture. Before reconnecting, we need to reload the T-Pose preset and adjust the character to T-Pose. You can also activate face capture so that VAM characters can have basic facial capture. After enabling facial capture, please turn off auto blinking to avoid conflicts between automatic blinking and facial capture. Let's move the camera closer and enter the upper body motion capture mode. Calibrating once before motion capture can help us achieve better capture results. If you want to add motion capture to multiple characters in a scene, you need to add dollars plugins to each of them and change the ports to different values. Let's change one of them to 39740. Meanwhile, we will start two dollars main programs, with one still streaming to 39739. In the other dollars program, we will change the VAM port to 39740.
Then the two characters can receive different motion capture data. During motion capture, it is recommended to avoid lifting and dropping both hands quickly to prevent the upper body from shaking. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more tutorials.